our zone this time with an all new update 128 gigabyte raspberry pi 3 image over 18,000 titles here now this is going to be everything from amiga atari 2600 up to nintendo 64 there are no dreamcast games on here there's very few um Nintendo 64 games, about 10 total, but everything in between those two systems, you know, the, the, the Atari 2600 up to the Dreamcast and Nintendo 64, everything between there, you're going to see massive, massive collections. And as you see, as I'm scrolling here, this thing is full of collections, and you could definitely slim this down, but you can see how beautiful it is. Um, I really dig in it, uh, but if you want to make it slimmer, we'll I'll show you how to do that. Uh, we can jump into this, show you where, where are those 18,000 titles uh, being stored and which systems which systems are installed we'll also look at some of the scripts and some of the other additional features on this image but uh, this is an image creator who has many images before him so usually that's a good telling sign and I think you guys are gonna enjoy this one so let's go ahead and jump right in All right, so here we are, a couple of little things that people often like to know, which is how big is the file size. It's 119 gigabytes, that's gonna be 127 billion, 865 million, 455 thousand bytes. Now that will work with the SanDisk Ultra 128 gigabyte or a Samsung Evo Select or Evo Plus that should work just fine. There's links in the description if you're interested in those, but those will fit just easily. You'll notice some scripts in here, not all the scripts, not all the bells and whistles that we see with some of the other ones, but it does have background music, which I disabled. It does have the bezel project installed. Um, you also have the expand on the, an external hard drive script, factory reset your controls, flip Sega Genesis or Mega Drive, depending on which one you prefer, you can go between the two. And then it has the overclock scripts for both the Raspberry Pi 3B and B+. Plus. Um, other than that, it's pretty standard. If you hit select, you will go into your screen savers here. If you go right to left, you can go to your different video snaps and then start. Yeah, so if you hit start, it'll actually select that game that you are in the screen saver for. So you can go left to right to go to next screen saver um, or press start to actually play that game. So as you see, it jumped us to PC Engine because that was the screen saver we were on. As I was mentioning in the introduction, this does come with hacks, which is really nice because I know a lot of you guys like the hacked games. And for a lot of these systems like Mega Drive or Game Boy, these hacks do not take up a lot of space. Um, as I mentioned, there is no Dreamcast, so you might be wondering, well, hey, why is it on this menu? You can easily eliminate that. Um, I've done it in a previous video, but basically you just want to turn on, put it, you attach your Pi to your network, go to the ROMs folder, and you can rename the file for the RyeCast to like a .sh or just .s. And then you can always restore it later, but in the meantime, that'll turn it off. So let's go ahead and see what 18,000 titles are on this image. Uh, starting with Amiga. So this is something that uh, Darzone has done really well on, which is he always includes a lot of Amiga. So if you're into Amiga, look at all this. You got between these, you got almost 2,000 titles in Amiga including unreleased games and other games as well. So you've got some folders here at the top. Um, you may have to start uh, AmiBerry, the uh, emulator, and change the processor. I've showed you that again easily as well if you're interested in playing those games. Amstrad, 314. Arcade Classics, 1,494. So quite a big arcade set. And as you see, you see a JPEG and then a video <laughs> snap. And you're going to notice that that's going to be the same case for the majority of these systems so arcade hacks 42 so these are arcade games that were hacked or slight variants of the originals and as you see you got quite a few here to play around with a lot of them is just you know they change the sprites and things like that but some of them are uh, a little bit more than that atari 2600 630 atari 7058 atari Lynx portables 83 so commodore 64 and commodore 64 hacks i mean this is almost 4,000 titles so that's why I say in other videos, as well as I'll repeat it here, is that the total amount of games has nothing to do, you also have a compilations folder here, um, has nothing to do with the quality of the games. You know, you could fit a ton of Commodore 64 games because they're, they're so small. So don't get, just don't get attached to the 18,000 game, the, the bigger the number, the better. But uh, if you like Commodore 64, this is a massive, massive collection. Coley, Co, Vision, 140. Pretty standard set there. So here we, we get into our first collection here. So this is going to be your Capcom Play System games. 
And uh, you should also see these games in arcade classics as well. But there's a collection if you just want to see what Capcom CPS system games you have. Daphne, so you do have five here. Space Ace. Rom, uh, okay, so this is a ROMs folder. So it's actually just four games. Dragon's Layer 1, 2, Space Ace, and Super Don Quixote. Dreamcast, again, you can hide that. I would hide it. Family Computer System 422, Game & Watch 54. Those are these little portable games. Game Gear 263, Game Boy 489, Game Boy Advance 1036. So pretty big collection there. I want to launch a game to show you that there is loading images. And then I want to see if we have bezels or not. Okay, so we have bezels, but it is more of a full screen type of bezel. And you can easily start select out to exit out. So that's a full collection of Game Boy Advance. Game Boy Color 588 and Television 118. Second Master System 271. Mega Drive. Again, you can switch this to Genesis really easily. Or I'm sorry, this is the this one will stay Mega Drive as the Japanese Mega Drive. But you can change this one to Sega Genesis if you'd like. If you're in the US or you just prefer the US version over the UK version. So there you go, Mega Drive, all of them there. But you also see that you have hacks here. Command and Conquer for the Sega Genesis. Uh, moving on, MSX 579, uh, Nintendo 64, so only 10. That's what I was mentioning, did not include all of them. I can attest that all these games run just fine on the Raspberry Pi 3. Maybe not as well as many of you would hope, but they're totally playable. Neo Geo 141. NES 783, NES Hacks 172, Neo Geo Pocket Color 82, PC Engine 210. So I kind of like, I mean, he, he didn't do Neo Geo Pocket Not Color, and he didn't do MSX2, which is totally fine. I don't play those games much, but some of you looking for a complete collection do note that. PC Engine, quite a bit here, 210. PC Engine CD-ROM, you get six. Uh, ports, so these are full uh, games. Cave Story is a cool little adventure game. Doom 1, Doom 2, Final Doom. You also do have uh, Open Bore. And as you see here, you have quite a bit of games to play with. So it is installed. I know some people have been getting into that. It was kind of left alone for a while. People realized how easy it was to add to RetroPie. Or, you know, once some people started doing it. So it's nice to have there. Those are some, you know, side scroller. Uh, some are fan based games. There's, there's quite a few. Check them out. So PSP, these are not full PSP games. These are PSP minis. Okay, just PSP mini games, not full PSP games. That's how he's able to fit so much on 128 gigabyte. If you, these are real PSP games, you, you wouldn't be able to put many on there. PlayStation, so it still has 66. Still has more than the PlayStation Classic. <laughs> That'll be a running joke for, for many years to come. Uh, but in case you're curious what all is included, there you go. All the Resident Evils, Spyros, Tekken 3, Tomb Raiders, and then the Wipeouts. Genesis 32X32, Scum VM, just a few games here. Save some space. Second Classic, so this is a collection. You can get rid of it if you want. It's just going to pull the Second Classic games. Sega CD 132, SG-1000, 68, Super Graphics 5, Super Famicon 223, Super Nintendo 74, and then you got your hacks, you got 81 of those. A bunch of Mario Kart F-Zero, Super Mario World hacks, Vetrix 26, Video Pack 75, Virtual Boy 27, Wonder Swan Color 92. So again, Wonder Swan isn't in there, but I don't ever play Wonder Swan. Sharp 68,091, CX Sinclair, again, tw uh, you know, where a lot of these games are, 1200. So now we got collections, alien-based games that are around the movie Aliens, Batman-based games around the movie Batman. This Commodore 64, I believe this is like the little mini system they had. Uh, Castlevania-based games, 30, Cool Spot-based games. So these are all, well, here you go. Here's a system, Family Computer Distance 134. But these are all just the genre games all in one spot. So Mortal Kombat, you'll notice it's all like the arcade, the Amiga version, the Mega Drive version, the Game Boy version. Right? So it's a nice little collection. NES Classic, Rambo, um, more, more Resident Evil, Robocop, uh, many, many shoot 'em ups. Super NES Classic, so that'll be your Star Fox 2 and all those games. Street Fighter, Terminators, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, all those games that you grew up with. Tomb Raider, Tron, Turrican, Wipeout, and the Back to All games. And uh, first, I just want to show, like, look how beautiful this is. Let's just scroll through. 
It's really beautiful. And you can hard scroll. You know, it actually runs really good, this this theme from Hursty. So really nice. It looks good. What I would do though is I would totally get rid of like a lot of them. I just hit start on my controller and I'm just going through the list and unchecking all of them. And then hit back here. It's gonna take it a second to update, but you don't need to reboot, it should just update. This is running a newer version of RetroPie, so you don't have to worry about updating with that. Controller configuration has been great so far, I haven't had any issues whatsoever. So you see now I deleted all the collections. So it just should be all systems for the most part. So there's a much cleaner version. It's interesting though, the color palette, I felt like the color palette really worked better with all those collections on. Like see how these four feel like they go together? And those two feel like they go together. This, you know, it's interesting. It's still really cool. I'm still really digging it. So um, let's just play a hack game really quick. So you some of these interesting games. Some people like them. Some people could. Uh, a lot of people like this one right here. Fix it, Felix Jr. Avatar, the game, Jim Power, also known as Jim Power. Let's try this Sonic hack here. So you see it saw my controller there. So as you see, it's a Sonic and Knuckles hack. Oh, that gives a small thrown mushroom that can happen. Bezel project is installed. And it seems the bezels are on certain systems, but not others. Like the hack games do not get bezels. Should be able to duck in this game. You know what I'm saying? What was this? Ooh, that thing got in my way. Uh oh, boss fight. Ooh. You got him. Cool. So start select out. <laughs> Wanted to see maybe it was just cause hacks. Let me just see see if we got a bezel here. <laughs> okay, cool. So there, the reason is there's the bezel projects are installed for all the systems, but the hack systems, because they don't have bezels as their hack games, there are no bezels for that yet. I'm sure they'll work on that eventually, but.
All right, so there you have it, Darzone rocking out a 128 gigabyte image. I mean, at this rate with the price of SD cards, it's really good size uh, for price and getting set up with this retro gaming image. This one is awesome, um, especially if you don't want you know a lot of Nintendo 64, Dreamcast, PSP, um, but it's got everything below it. As I mentioned, I'd say where this highlights that we're not going to see how it's or where it's differentiated, if you will, is yes, it has some Daphne games installed. People like to see that. Yes, you have a lot of the hacked uh, games for a lot of the consoles, including you know uh, Genesis, Super Nintendo, even arcade hacks, which is kind of cool. It's got a nice arcade set on it for sure. Um, and then the uh, Amiga, Commodore 64, ZX Spectrum, though all those systems are all fully loaded. Um, some of the people really like those older computer systems. Some people do not. So if you're looking for that, look no further. Um, also, just really impressed with how optimized it is. You know, I don't... You know, I don't know exactly what it is, but some people, when they build an image, it kind of gets, like, clunkered down somehow, or it starts to slow down, or you see, like, there's just little things, and I just have to say, overall, my experience with this image has been really good. Uh, everything from just activating the screensavers, going in between screens, in and out of games, loading screens, uh, all the video snaps working right, the sounds working right, uh, just no little hiccups. Things that, you know, aren't really a big deal in the first place, just, I just, I haven't noticed any of them. That's, like, a really good sign that you have like a flawless experience uh, with it. As I mentioned, the only change I would do is, well, first of all, you know, I do like a lot more Nintendo 64 and Dreamcast myself personally, but again, that's not what this image is for. So that's just my personal preference. But also I would just get rid of the Dreamcast here by going, logging onto my computer and deleting that. Um, however, maybe he left it there knowing that maybe some of you would put this on a 256 gigabyte and then you can expand the file system and you can dump you know, a good 20, 30 Dreamcast games on there, which is totally up to you. So, um, really good stuff. Um, uh, also note, the, you know, the the options, what kind of scripts are going to come pre-installed on this, all the other stuff you may have to install yourself. And then uh, the theme just looked really great. He had everything unlocked on there. So, it was quite an interesting front end as far as, like, it was kind of a buffet of different things to look at. But um, the artwork is so beautiful that it was a welcomed uh, chain. So with all that, I'll give it an A. It's really good stuff. Um, it's going to fit on the SD cards. It's set up. It was, it was you know, not flawless, but it was very clean experience that I really enjoyed. So that's what I think. Let me know what you guys all think. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll catch you on the next one.